I am the queen of a touch of glass party decor. And today I will show you the difference between a spandex chair band, a sequence chair band, and a chair sash. So if you're ready to get started, go ahead and like this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. Hype me up, hype me up, yeah. Every single day we cut up, we cut up, yeah. types of chair bands and one chair sash. This is our sequence chair band, this is our spandex chair band, and this is the standard chair sash. The sequence chair bands are not forgiving. On larger back chairs, it is hard to pull the sequence down over the back. Spandex is very forgiving. But for chairs that have a smaller frame here, you have to pull the spandex chair band to closer to the bottom or the seat of the chair to give it a cleaner look. Chair sashes can go on either of these three chairs. It just takes more time tying. Now, let's get started on how to put the chair bands on. I own ruffled chair bands. There is no certain way that you have to put the ruffles. It can go on the front of the chair or the back of the chair. It's all about personal preference. I try to make sure that we keep the ruffles in the center of the chair so that it won't look like this. Same with the spandex chair bands. It can also go on the front or the back. Remember, pull closer to the seat to give it a cleaner look so that it will not sag. The closer that you have it to the top where it's slim, it's going to sag. Our chair sash, you do have to tie each one of these individually. Some people will remove these from the chairs and leave them tied, it does not look good when you place them back on a chair. I prefer tying each one every time I use it. Also, with chair sashes, a lot of them, especially if they're not taffeta, you have to iron. With the sequence or the spandex chair bands, you just pull them down over the chairs, there isn't any wrinkles. Same for spandex chair covers. While I am tying, I am pulling tight so that my bow doesn't sag. The bigger the bunny ears you make, the sadder the bow looks. Not a good look. Even if you make your ears big, you can always pull the tails to bring the bow in some. Be sure to fluff your bow. And try to get them as even as possible. 